guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Dollar Treat review. So as you can see, I have no makeup on, nothing. We are going to be testing the new Ioni makeup. There is quite a bit of things that I did haul. So I've tried some out and I know a lot of you guys wanted a separate video and some wanted together video. There wasn't that many things to review. It was a lot of makeup products. So I just thought I would just sit down and we would do my makeup and then you guys can kind of see how it performs, how it kind of glides on the skin, what it looks like. So you guys are not subscribed, consider subscribing and joining my family. Okay, first up we need to prime our face. Everything's been, you know, my face has been washed, it's all clean, there's nothing on it. So LA Color has some new primers. They do have a face primer which looks like this little guy right here. And we also have two eyeshadow primers. I have tried the face primer and <laughs> you guys, uh, I cannot wait to share with you guys my thoughts and feelings on it. But they also have the eye primer, the shimmer finish, and then also the matte which looks like this. I have loved the eye primer. I think it's really good. I, I've used it so far this week and it's great. So the face primer, <laughs> be very careful. Now, I'm not saying that I don't like it, but here's, here's my thing. <laughs> okay, you ready? So be careful when it comes out because I put it on and it, okay, can we just, do we get any vibes here of anything? It feels like, it's probably a lot, it feels like glue. So when I first squirted it on my face, I was like, oh, I was like, oh my, and the way it feels when you, first of all, it, it just has this like glue texture to, it's sticky, which is great, I mean, we want our primer to be sticky so it lays down the foundation, you know, I mean, it's all amazing, but it looks like looks like glue so I was a little worried at first because when I did put this you know when I used it I kind of like did a second take like have I been duped like or am I like <gasps> is this really face primer or is it glue I, had, I was kind of a little scared I was like oh no because it has it has like a glue like <laughs> feel to it but it it's it holds I think it holds up my makeup and definitely a little goes a long way but it definitely has that glue like feeling once it gets into your skin it feels a little bit better but when you're rubbing it in to me it felt like glue you guys let me know what you guys think but yes I was just like oh oh my oh my 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 okay so they have tons of different the Ioni they have tons of different sponges okay so they have the, your normal teardrop they have a gourd which I've tried both but you guys I like the slanted one so this one is wet and it looks like this this is my favorite sponge the sponges are amazing for a dollar or a dollar 25 depending on if your dollar trees have gone up this is my favorite sponge. I will go back and get more of these. I just love the way it glides on my makeup. So I'm using, there's no like foundation or anything in this line. So I, this is the foundation. I, I love it so much. It's the True Match Lumi and I am in the shade W4. So this is the one that I really love. Love this. What I like to do is I just put it on my hand and then I will take my sponge, it's wet, and then I will just like pat it all over. Like I said, I'm not no guru, but I really, really love how well this sponge does, you guys. It is, seriously, I love how it performs. And it just puts my makeup on like super, super good. I will say that though the, the, um, the primer is a little, like it makes your skin a little shiny. 
So I don't know if that's like a good thing. But once you put powder over the top and concealer, I think it, you know, it looks really good. So this is, oh my gosh, the sponge. It was just like so soft and it just, I think it blends the foundation super good. And I just love, I mean, it's, uh, this is, this is my favorite. I, I love the way, I love the way this feels. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I've completely finished with the foundation. I think it really looks good, though the primer, I really feel like it kind of gives you a little, I don't know if it's a greasy look. Now it does the shine and stuff, it will go down once I put powder on, but I, my makeup stays all day. I've tried this with the primer and I'm pleasantly surprised with it, but it just, this is what it looks like. I really love this thing is amazing. I use it with my concealer. So this is, I just use the Tarte, uh, Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand in the Sunbeam. This is what this looks like. And I, this is why I love this one because it's just, it's just, it's really, everybody does their concealer so different. I just put little three dots right here and three dots right there. Sometimes I will do like around my nose. It just depends. And then I will, where's my mirror? I will go ahead and blend that out. I, just, I don't know. I really love the sponge. I think it works so good and it's multi-purpose. So if you're someone who doesn't need all these sponges where it's just like you don't have any, hardly any room, it gets right underneath your eyes. It's just super soft on the skin. It's probably one of the softest sponge I've ever tried. And I use like a lot of makeup sponges and this one is the softest I th and I mean you know the expensive ones I like this better I really really do I cannot tell you guys enough how much I like really love the sponge it just it's so soft it's just like oh yes it's like a cloud and I am like all here for that so Yeah, so this one is definitely a must, and honestly, all of them are really good, but if I had to pick, like, my favorite, it would be this one. But like I said, all of them are good, but if we're trying to cut money down, I know things are going up. Now, Dollar Tree's, you know, $1.25 in some states here, not yet, but you, I, I, I'm sure it's coming. So if we're trying to, like, save our money and what I... My top pick is, if I would just to buy one, it would be this one and I'm going back to get more. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I just put loose, I always do powder on top of everything to kind of set it. So I'm using my, my little Grinch makeup brushes, which I really love. I love these, I think they're super cute. So all I did was put the LA Colors loose powder. I have tons of different loose powders. I think I got this at, not LA Colors, Hard Candy Loose Power Powder. Um, this is Sheer Envy. I think I picked this up at the Dollar Tree and I just always like to put powder on top of everything and then my face is set and I can go on to the next. So this is what it looks like. I mean, you guys let me know. What do you guys think? Do you think the primer looks good? How is the foundation looking with that sponge? You guys let me know because the proof is in the pudding. That's why I wanted to do kind of a test it video with you guys. That way you can see how it performs and everything like that. Okay, let's talk about brows. I, anybody else? I hate doing my brows. I feel like I'm no good. I barely have any. It's just, it's weird. My brows don't like me and we just don't get along. I'm, and I feel like brows are like that with a lot of people. So... I, there's two brow products, but I've tested, I've used this, and I really think this is great. This is the mini kit. It's the perfect brow. What I really love about this one, it's got a little wax, it's got a highlight, and then you've got two different brow colors. So, I'm going to share with you guys my brows. I'm, like I said, I'm not very good at doing brows, but we shall see. So, I'm going to do the lightest of 
the two and I'm using this like little angle brush this is like what I use and yeah I don't know I'll show her it's it's me and brows don't do good but I really I really love this brow kit I have some expensive I need to like get my brows done too but I have some expensive kits and I like this one I think more than all the other ones I really do I feel like it just it works and performs better so here's kind of what it looks like I'll fix it here in a minute but so this is my brows and then this is the one that obviously doesn't have anything I really think that it works really really well I don't know like I said I've had I have some high-end brow stuff and I like this more you guys let me know I mean obviously I have it my brows have issues but and that's what it looks like and this is without I really think it does nice I love how like compact it is that it's got you know your little wax your highlight your brow highlight so after we do my eyeshadow we'll go ahead and highlight it and I'll share with you that but I really love this I think this is definitely worth a dollar a dollar and 25 and I don't know about the gel should we try the gel someone said that they didn't like the gel you know what let's I have it in here I think do I have it in here should we go get the gel let's go ahead okay I'm gonna go grab that gel and we'll do it on this one and then you guys tell me which one looks better okay <laughs> so we have the brow gel this is the packaging this is what it looks like um, oh my gosh I'm a little nervous but we can always take it off with makeup removers, right? Okay, so this is what it looks like before. I don't know, I'm always weird about like, I love powder, but we, oh goodness. Um... Okay, I'm just gonna already say it. Um... <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't, mm -mm. okay, I'm going to tell, look, I just, no, no, you guys let me know, I haven't even, like, finished, it's all sloppy, um, should I keep going, I wish you guys were here, you can tell me, no, Lisa, quit while you're, before it, yeah, um, I don't know, I don't, you guys, I don't like it, what do you think, you guys let me know, I'm going to go ahead and fix my brows, I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, I've kind of fixed it. It kind of stained a little bit. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. How's it looking? I I love the powder one. I think this one is perfect. Love, love, love this one. Okay, so let's go into the LA Colors. This is the eye primer. This is the shimmer eye pr primer. I love a good eye primer. This is what it looks like. So I just take my fingers and then I will put a little bit of the primer on my eyes. So a little goes a very, very long way. And then I'll share with you guys. So this is the shimmer one and it definitely does have a, a shimmer shimmer to it okay so this is what it looks like if you guys can see like the little shimmer in there I, it really does have a nice shimmer I think it laid down really good it feels good on the eyelids it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that I'm gonna real fast do my eyeshadow this is just the one I have right now I think I got this like in a fab fit no not a fab fit a boxy charm it's just a little eyeshadow palette I'm gonna do my eyes really fast and I'll be right back so I just did eyeshadow just real real fast nothing crazy just barely anything but now I'm gonna go ahead and with the highlight and I can share with you guys 
what that looks like the highlight with the um the brow and a highlight okay and that is what that looks like i really seriously i really love this so much okay let's talk about let's talk about mascara okay so this one is the i think thickening and lengthening and this is what it looks like it's the wand is like really chunky i mean check that wand out it is very very chunky so i will uh let's go ahead and try this on this eye and then i will share with you guys what it looks like after and you guys tell me what you think so this is the mascara so obviously this is the one that has the mascara on the eye this one doesn't you guys let me know what you guys think of it i don't really have much of eye lashes but this is what it does with my eyes you guys let me know is it worth a dollar is there better and if you have recommendations for a good mascara because i'm in the market for like really good mascara let me know down in the comment section below what is your favorite mascara for just like for the people that just don't have a lot of eyelashes all four of my children have the i mean their eyelashes are just like they're just gorgeous and i'm like why i didn't get any of that that's just no fair. So if you know a mascara that can just make my eyelashes gorgeous, let me know. Okay, we're going in with the highlight here. And this is what it looks like. I'm using the fan brush with my highlight. So I just kind of just like fan it on there like so. And then I just put my little highlight on. What do you guys think? Can you guys see it? Are you blinded? What do you think? Do you think it performs good? Can you see it? Obviously, I mean, with any type of highlight, you can definitely, you know, I can see it. What do you guys think? Is it worth a dollar? Dollar twenty-five. I want to keep saying, is it worth a dollar? And then it's like, now it's a dollar twenty-five. Now, now I have to rethink about what I say when I talk about the Dollar Tree. Um, but you guys, let me know what do you think about that. That's the highlight. Now we're gonna do like the bronzer. I just do my bronzer. It's, I'm just gonna do like a tiny, nothing crazy. This is what it looks like. Uh, this brush, I usually don't use this brush for this type of thing, but. We're gonna, we're gonna go for it and we'll, uh, I don't know, I do my, I'm like very subtle when it comes to like bronzers and and I'm probably doing it all wrong, I don't know, I do mine all weird. What do you guys think? Can you guys see it? Like I said, I'm very subtle when it comes to the, like it's, I'm just going out for the day, so I don't need to be all glam or anything, but that's what that looks like. I think you can kind of see it. It's just really subtle. What do you guys think? I could go crazy. I could do a whole like fancy routine, but we're just kind of testing it out. But I really like it. I think it's really pretty. It's nice dusting. It's something that you can definitely build up for sure. And I really like it. I have the little lip scrub. I did use it. It's okay. Um, it is sugary. Is that a word? It, it, it feels like a sugar scrub. It just wish it was more of like sugar scrub. Because when you put it on your lips, like you can feel the sugar. But I have better. But it's not that. I mean... It's not that bad, but like when I do a sugar scrub, I want it to be a little bit more aggressive. So 
I feel like the sugar just glides on my lips but doesn't even like do what it's supposed to do. So I feel like it's kind of a wannabe lip sugar scrub. Uh, Cause I feel like the sugar's just gliding on my lips and not even like, she's not doing anything. It's just staying the same. So I would pass on this. I have Dr. Paw, Paw, their sugar scrubs, my favorite. It's got sugar, like it's real, real good. It's like it exfoliates your lips. And then on the other side, it's like a little jar. On the other side, it has a lip balm. That's my favorite. I use that all the time. That's like my go-to. This is, like I said, it wants to be a, a sugar scrub, like a lip spa scrub, but I just feel like it's doing nothing for my lips at all. Okay, so the liquid lipsticks are definitely a little bit sticky, so I'm not a big fan of them. They kind of smear. I don't really like the liquid lip. I've had better... So I'm just going to try their LA Colors Moisturizing Lip Balm. It looks like this, and we'll see how it works. I'm kind of, I don't know. We'll see. I don't have high hopes for this, but we shall see. Oh, it's just clear. Okay, this is just a clear... So it's just a clear, like, gloss, but actually it's really pretty. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's just like a clear, a clear gloss, but it's not bad. Yeah, I think that's great. Moisturizing lip balm. Next up, we'll try the finishing spray. Kind of feels like water, but it's nice and refreshing. It's not sticky at all. Um... I have great finishing sprays, and so I don't know if it's worth a dollar. I kind of want to say maybe it's a little watery. I don't know. You guys let me know. I tried it, and my makeup did stay all day, but that could be because of the primer and everything else. So I, um, but you guys, here is the look. What do you guys think? Tell me your opinions and how you got along with the makeup as well because now that things are raising up, you know, is it worth $1.25? What's your favorite products for them? What one do you think worked? And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.